Then we come to quite a deep and significant hole, which looks like it's about to collapse. I hope it's not a snake pit. And we're walking up to where the connection to the reservoir walk and the walk to the suspension bridge commences. And this is where quite significant erosion has occurred as we go down the hill towards the Springs Reserve. This has just been getting worse and worse for years. I would doubt there's even been an inspection in the last 10 years. It's quite, quite atrocious what is happening here. That is quite nasty. And it's starting to happen on the other side. And is looking a bit like a duplex soil, but quite a shallow top layer. Here's another massive hole that you would easily break a leg in. And this one dissects the track, which makes it quite a tricky little path to get through. And then, as you can see, deep, deep, probably 30 to 50 centimetre deep cuts continually along the path. And then again, bisecting the path. And the story continues with overgrowth occurring as well. And as luck would have it, the least eroded part of the track brings you up against the very prickly nasty gorse. As you can see and hear, we have started to reach probably what most people think of as being the Mineral Springs Reserve, but it does extend up past the pool. Um, so surely Hepburn Shire should have been able to see the issue that is occurring up this track whenever they were doing inspections of the playground or the reserve. So we're now crossing the reef and even the reef is starting to erode which in my living memory of over 40 years I've never known this to happen. Just as we start to reach the base, another quite deep, probably half metre hole, and our old friend Blackberry, and then a new friend, some wandering Jew.